I realized I'm a god. They got hurt a bit when I murder shit. In the moment I'll be taking off a tourniquet. When I burn them and I hit them in the sternum, I don't even gotta enter, but I'm gonna win the tournament. That's what I'm all about. Hello, Poseidon. Back again. From the depths of the sea. Uh, I'd like to apologize. Somehow it seemed uh, my latest video that I posted. Um, I guess it was some kind of copyright issue or whatnot. I don't know with the with the songs I had in the background. So it seemed like some people uh, weren't able to view my video. So. Apologize for that. Hopefully, uh, I have a little mix that I may that I have playing right now that I've used before and never had an issue. So hopefully, uh, this will be this will be fine. So I got some stuff uh, to go over. It's uh, Tuesday. It means it's uh, Guild Boss Day. So. Uh, go right to I think I only did my foe of the day in uh, in arena so everyone uh, you know I keep getting requests people want to see arena so I will show you some arena so here we go We're going against bag into It always seems like Enchantress is the last one alive, but it doesn't matter. Alright, here we go. King... King Gami. King Gami is going to meet his demise in a few seconds here. Freedom. Ah, Freedom. This name sounds familiar. I think he might be from uh, the Tigers Guild. I actually killed my landy there. I wasn't even uh, paying attention. Uh, let's see here. What was. Right. See what was going on there with my music. Sorry about that. I like some music in the background. Alright, uh... It's the Doomsday, yeah. Uh. So he's already... taking the heroes off his base to lower trophies, so...
Like I said, Enchantress always winds up being the last on the line. But it's alright. So, I always start the match off with uh, Great Siege Divine. Justice. One left. Who are we going after here? DR Gaia. Sorry, bro. That's good. It took us to Emperor. I don't collect my rewards until the last day. So what do we got? Arena We got four days left. So we are doing fine. Um probably get it in three days or so. Something like that. Uh, I'm not really worried about it. So let's see, uh, what else, what else can I show you guys, uh, again a big shout out to my great leaders, Athena, Kronos, so give a little shout out to my buddy Hercules, Nemi, Creepa, Weok, Mind Rape, Weight Ninja of course, one of our beastly attackers. Um, I actually talk, usually talk to Grape a bit more. I think he's been on vacation, so when he comes back. Oh. Um, let's see what we got here. I got some some people doing some quests. I'll see if I can help help them out later. Um, so I have done uh, some stuff on this uh, on the guild boss. Um, I use my I use my initial three chances. I didn't wind up too bad. I'm in 22nd place. So, I think if I had some of my aids better, I would score a little bit better. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I got, I got 9.8 million. Um, but yeah, I think, I think last week I reached a little over 8 million or something, so, 
Um, I definitely improved my score. We had a bunch of guys around 4 million, 5 million, and then, uh, you know, and then it seems like there's a separation that it really, it really comes down, I think, to timing, some, some aids and whatnot, um, but we'll, we'll see, um, Let's look at my. This is what I'm currently using on my guild boss. All right, uh, on this guild boss, he's a little different because the guild boss on Tuesday he's got that knockback, which is very annoying. So maybe if I get this uh, this axe up even higher, it'll it'll be better. Uh, so I'm trying to work on some of my aids and whatnot um, until so, until some of my aids are up a bit better. You know, my score is gonna probably stay around the same or whatnot. Come down to some timing. Um, last week, I think I did. I played around with using Berserker. And with Arcane Caster, she does do a nice amount of damage too to the guild boss. But I don't have her at Divine 3 yet. So maybe once I get her to Divine 3, I'll try, try her out and see, see how that works. But she gives so much, she gives so much extra damage. Um, so that's why I have her on Chiron. Um, you, they, heroes, they do seem to heal a little bit, and it's not like a regular heal in the game with, with Abyss, so it does seem to do something. Um, maybe not, like I said, not like a regular hero. Wonton seems to be really good at getting rid of those clones. Too, so he seems to be good at least on on this guild boss uh, well, let's see what happens we will we will do an attack here Come on, so close. I actually beat my old score. Come on. Ah, 9.9 .9 million. Uh, I'll still take it. <laughs> that was good. Uh, so everyone uh, could see how how I lured. I basically let's let's go back. Uh, to my setup screen here. Alright, so 
I lure, I, I put down Enchantress, and I let the, uh, you know, she flies over the walls, obviously, goes right towards the guild boss, and I let him activate his, you know, he knocks her back. As soon as he knocks her back, I place down all the, you know, all the other heroes, and I, uh, I activate Demon Slayer's, uh, divine to pull him towards and then i just do you know i try to do a combo of of healing and whatnot try to uh get as much damage as we can as i said if if some of my aids were a little bit higher um it probably would be well into the you know the top five or whatever, top ten, but it's fine. I'll as long as I keep improving my, you know, myself. I, I can't, uh, I can't ask for any more. So, uh, if you have any suggestions or whatnot, you know, that feel free to comment. Um, so you said like some people think, oh, you have to. I, I said I used Berserker last week. Um, and I used Divine Caster. I mean, uh, Arcane Caster too. And I did get about, I did get close to, not, you know, uh, like eight and a half million or whatnot. So, that can can work. Uh, my Berserker is Divine 3. My Arcane Caster is not, is, I only have uh, Divine 1 so far. So, uh, I'm a little short on rings right now. Because I wanted to do, I wanted to max uh, Blockhead for my Abyss. So that was about, that was over 20,000 rings I had to use to, to max that aid. Um, so let's see. If we... I don't know if that moved, ah, that moved us up one, uh, we moved up one spot. Yeah, we were right here before. We move past uh, Coop, so I'm almost next to my my buddy uh, Weight Ninja. So. so so close <laughs> yet yet so far. I'd love to I'd love to break the, the 10 million barrier. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I can tell already this is not going to be as good as last time, but that's okay. So, we only got 8 million that time. Let's see what we got on here. Say hello, boss cross. <laughs>
Let's go back to the... Guild boss here. What do we got left? We got two challenges left. So, um, let's find them both. So let's go. Let's see what we can do. Hey, yeah, get back over here. We going. Guys running away now. These guys swinging at swinging in air and I'm losing life. I love it. All right. 8.4 so we got one one left. Let's do one last challenge. Let's see what we got. This one is this one is definitely a fail. <laughs> no, that's okay. So that was actually our, one of our worst times, the last one. But that's alright, we wound up, that first time we got 9.9 .9 million, so that, that was really good. Um, I think, uh, let's see... I got some stuff to do. I didn't really do anything in, in Hero Trials. Um, I probably should have. I lost some, some coins there. But...
These guys should be pretty easy. So, pretty much have my strategy down for that guild boss, but I just need, uh, as I said, I just need some higher aids, so. Sorry, Tupac is gonna meet his demise shortly. He actually started out not bad in the beginning there, but. Still trying some different combos and whatnot in uh, Hero Trial, so. Yeah, I love uh, the Skull Mage Divine 3. It like, shoots like a machine gun. We'll get some extra chances here. Should be able to take this guy. Yeah. Our rank is uh, still pretty drinks. As I said, I, I didn't really mess with the hero trials earlier in the day. They.
I'll probably even be doing better. I just noticed I didn't even, uh, I didn't change my equipment around. So, that can't make a difference. But, that's alright. I'm still... Still doing fine. So we got one left. Um, let's check out where I want to go to. Uh, the forge. Uh, what do we got here? Yep. See, I didn't even have, uh, I didn't even have my heart on, on Landy, <laughs> which is a, a huge, uh, a huge deal. Um, make some changes here. Now we have, uh, I think we have most of my, most of my equipment I have equipped how I normally do, so. Definitely more powerful with the right equipment, for for sure. So. That's it, that's all I got for uh, Hero Trials. Um, let's see what, maybe we'll do a few Lords League. Let's see. Ending. Right, it's got Ambrosia there in the center. Alright. 
does have a landing. Can't win all the time. Yeah, once I lose, ah, I got one star. So, haha, on him. <laughs> uh oh, confirm, man. My my landslide's not gonna. It's just gonna be standing there like a shield, not gonna be doing any damage. So. Um, go back. Let's do another attack. Commandos, let's see. Okay, he's gonna embroach it there. Right, let's see, where does he have his... Alright, he's got... There, well, I'm pretty sure it will go right here. Thirty-four trophies. Um, maybe I'll do a few more attacks here. I'm not gonna do all of them. Ah, oh, look, my buddy, my buddy Kronos. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna attack him from here. <laughs> Let's go, let's see, Kakashi, let's see, what has he got going on, oh, Ambrosia is over here to the left, so remember I count the bot, so I really, it's really like counting six heroes to me, that's what I look at, so, we're gonna go, and he doesn't, um, what was he using there? Great C. He's not using um, landslide, so. So to me, um, Chiron is uh, is the witch killer. So, 
See, what I noticed too, um, you gotta look at timing. See, like, he still had his divine up from his witch. You don't want to waste your great siege skill when he's got that divine up. It's not gonna, it won't block, it's not gonna block their skills, so. star there uh, you see how much more damage uh, Chiron has done than, than everyone else over over double the amount so like I said uh, different combos of heroes people like to use but I uh, I still like Chiron a lot um, I can't seem to get a blessing on this Trevi Fountain. It's uh, it's twice now. I keep picking rings. They they don't seem to like me very much. I don't know. I don't know what, what to what to say. Um, uh, so uh, someone uh, I. Did a bunch of various different attacks. Um, what I was asked to uh, show, someone wanted to see my enchant. I'm still at level 80 on my abyss. Um, again, the increased attack rate to me is your first priority. I got a few and leech more, but I don't really think maybe eventually I'll come back to it. I don't think it's as important. Um, the attack rate is definitely increased damage is good. You need that increased hit rate. Um, if anything, probably I go back. Maybe I'll do some. Maybe I'll do some more uh, damage reduction and some other stuff on uh, on my abyss. Um, I can't stress enough how much attack rate is worth on Abyss um, for multiple reasons. Um, I, I've seen a f you know I've watched a few videos. Uh, people are people are saying to use Skull Mage and for. Lower, you know, like lower on, Skull Mage is easier to get. One of the easier epics to get than some other epics. So he's definitely Skull Mage is not not a bad um, aid. He he is good. He goes up to what, 50 uh, 50 percent now. But you're not really you're not really that worried so much about increasing the attack damage. Uh, if you're doing the enchant and other stuff, you're gonna get, you're gonna increase, what you get from that is enough with the damage. Your main thing with Abyss is that he keeps healing. He does damage too, but you want him to keep, just to, to keep healing. Um, he heal, you know, he keeps healing your, your tank, whether he's landslide or pounder or wonton or whatever, you want that tank to keep, you know, to, to keep healing, um, and then you have, you know, some damage dealers and whatnot, they're, you know, Ambrosia's like a combo, it's like a hybrid hero, a lot of people ask me how come I don't use her, I used to use her all the time, I use her for defense, you know, obviously I use her in hero trials, maybe, 
If I'm using a wizard strategy in Battle Royal, uh, obviously I'll use Ambrosia. In Guild Clash right now, I do not use Ambrosia. Um, she's good, but I I like my uh, the, my current setup that I use. That's what I found for me right now is what works. So uh, so that's Abyss, and the other. Right now, I'm up to 50 on Chiron. I'm going to do the increased attack rate and increased damage on Chiron as well. The next goes to 17%. And the attack rate... Um, Just certain, certain kind of uh, heroes that you use. Uh, to me, just being able to the increasing the attack rate is again it, it goes hand in hand as well with the sword. The faster, the faster you do hits, the more that you proc that lightning, the special ability on on the sword. So for those who, if you're wondering, what am I talking about, <laughs> you know, uh, let's, you know, we'll take a look here. Right, heroes equipped with a Thunder Blade will launch a bolt of lightning that strikes seven targets, dealing damage equal to 200% attack after every six attacks. That is a lot of damage. The faster you swing and hit, Faster you do six, you, you every six after every six attacks, you're gonna have lightning going all over the place. So, uh, you know, I'm working on my my thunder blades. I just I call them swords, whatever the thunder blades. Um, for right now in Guild Clash, no. I got, um, I have two that are orange. This one, I need some shard, uh, some Thunderblade shards so I can go up. I have, I need, again, more Thunderblade shards so I can change this to purple three. And then my fourth one, I started just walking on, working on, and, uh, that also I need I need lots of Thunderblade shards, so almost I'm I'm close to almost having uh almost having three orange swords. So once I get them up a bit, probably in Guild Clash I'm gonna use in raiding with four swords. And on my tank I'll probably still use um on the heart. So, well, just to briefly talk about my my landslide, okay, I use nimble moves, um, which increases my dodge rate, and I just threw a few points in his HP, but if you take a look at his level 40 enchants, you know... It, you increase increase his base HP, and then he also you can increase his dodge. So I uh, goes I assume this goes up to probably another twenty percent, and whatever the, I don't know what whatever this goes up to, but the dodge mm -hmm. probably goes to like a twenty percent. So if you look at Landy, look at Landslide, all right. Um, you get five each from Nimble Moves, that's 15. Okay, um, the heart gives me, was that, so that's 15 plus 30.7, so that's 45.7. And I usually 
put wonton on him as an 8. So 45.7 plus 17. Uh, uh, so what do we got? That's uh, 55, 62. That's not, that's 62.7. And then that 20% from, you know, it's probably 20% in the enchant there. That's about, that's 80% dodge that you could have. It's a lot of dodge. <laughs> um, it's probably what I'm done doing what I am doing right now with Chiron. I'll probably go to Landslide next and try to try to work on him a bit. So I think I showed a bunch of stuff in this video. Um, so I want to be clear. I don't, you know, I don't want to say. Uh, Skull Mage is necessarily uh, a bad aid to uh, anyone that, you know, he increases attack. He's good, but when it comes to Abyss, you want as much a, as much of anything that can increase your attack rate. That's what you want to go for. That That is the key. Uh, unless you plan on doing some other strategy with him. That I don't know about, but if you plan on using the Thunderblade with him, uh, which goes hand in hand because the faster, the faster Abyss strikes, the faster you heal, you know, uh, and the more he strikes, the more of that li special lightning proc that happens off of the Thunderblade, which is what you're going for. Um, I guess that's probably about it for this video. Um, again, a big shout out to my clan, Olympian Didi. Hopefully, we get you know a good matchup this week. Uh, we had a good matchup last week, uh, even though we lost. As I said last video, we did lose uh, day three to Tigers or whatever whatever that name was, um, but said you can't win all the time and sometimes it's good to have uh some challenging matches so you get to see you know the how how you're progressing with your heroes although sometimes you know just because uh, let me explain too because uh, i know some people get uh they get discouraged you know guild clash is only you know it's friday saturday sunday and you get three chances each but just because you, you know, you may fail once or twice against someone in, you know, in uh, in your battle in Guild Clash, doesn't necessarily mean that you that you're too weak to to fight him or go against him. Maybe maybe you're not attacking from the right, you know, the right side. Sometimes people set up traps in their base. Uh, there could be a lot of things. Maybe. Maybe you're not. Maybe your timing was off, or whatnot. Um, it, it you know, there's a lot of a lot of factors that come in. A lot of things, you know, when it when it comes, you know, it's just when you come to the the higher end play, you know, against this, you know, the the top uh, the top guys in the game. You know, if you make, sometimes you make one small mistake with a timing error or whatnot, or a placement of a hero, and that could mean the difference of you getting, uh, you know, 200 points or 1500 points because your heroes get locked or some other, some other nonsense. So, uh, stay with it, keep at it. Um, going to be running some contests in in, in our uh, in our guild um, it's only gonna be for you know uh, loyal members um, gonna try to have uh, some you know weekly contest to help out you know some of the lower some of the lower players give them some in, uh, incentive to to stay with it and uh, keep at it um, so again, uh, wonderful job by my leaders running the Guild Clash. Said just because we lost the last battle, I don't see it as a fail. 
makes us grow and uh, get stronger. So everyone seems to be uh, doing a good job and improving. Well, that's that's about it for now. Right, I'm signing out from the depths of the sea. Until next time, feel free to uh, make any comments, any questions you have. You know, feel free to ask. I'll see if I can address them in another video. Peace out.